Good morning, it's Lisa here, and I am up early out on a morning walk, sitting with a beautiful ocean view on this great little bench that somebody put in a canyon near my house. They chained it to the tree, this beautiful tree, so that no, no one would take it. And uh, it's been here for the whole 10 years I've lived here in uh, San Diego, La Jolla, California, and uh, I consider it such a gift. And speaking of gifts, this is your meant for more moment for the week. And I wanted to talk with you a little bit about your gift. You know, when we talk about your meant for more, it's really that feeling inside that won't go away, that you know you were made to make a bigger difference. And there's things that have happened in your life, experiences that you have, um, innate talents and qualities, um, and hard-earned uh, education that, that all come together in a way to support this. And paying attention to it is really magical. It can give you a very purpose-filled life, a fulfilling life. And uh, I get asked often, you know, how do I tap into that unique quality, that gift? Uh, sometimes we like to call it around here your million-dollar value because it's interesting when you find that piece of the puzzle that's uniquely yours to contribute to the world, uh, sometimes if you, if you choose to make a profession of it, you can have the experience that you're actually paid the most for the thing that comes easiest to you. That has certainly been the path for me when I identified myself as the queen of sales conversion and really saw that my piece of the puzzle is helping people uh, with their irresistible offer, helping people to um, turn their knowledge into profit and how to make an offer that doesn't feel salesy. So I've been doing that for over 10 years and as many of you know, helped people all over the world, maybe even had the privilege of helping you with our systems. And so today I wanted to give you a, a, a place to start looking for your own meant for more if you're on that journey. So one of the places that you can look is, I call it in the place where you can't not. Where is it that you can't not help out? Where is it that when something's going on around you, you can't not pay attention? In fact, in that particular area, you could almost be seen as meddling. I mean, this pull inside you is so strong to help, to make a difference, to contribute what you know, to coach, um, whether they ask for it or not. And uh, if you pay attention to where you can't not participate, you can't not help, you can't not contribute, you can't not say something, you can't not make a difference, that is a clue leading you toward your meant for more, your million dollar value, or another way we say it is getting on your dime, that piece of the puzzle, that spot in life that you are so uniquely built and qualified for. Um, Sometimes in your area where you can't not, you can even seem like you're meddling or even a little bit aggressive about your strong desire to help. In fact, it might keep you awake at night. Um, you might be on someone over and over about that thing because you know that it will give them what you believe is ultimately best for them or that they want, a better life, the health and wellness that they want, the connection in their relationship with their children or their family or, or their romantic relationship, um, the abundance, the prosperity. There's things that you can see, man, if they would just do that. So pay attention to where you can't not and you will start to be on the path toward finding that meant for more, that that unique gift that is yours to bring to the world. And whether you choose to monetize that gift, to make it a profession, um, or to just contribute it to the world freely, uh, Meant for More is really about the process, the proven formula on how you can start to articulate that and how you can start to communicate that in a way that it really can make a difference. Quickly, before we complete, this came up because right now um, I'm up for a morning walk because I have a small group at my home, about eight entrepreneurs. Uh, we're meeting for two days. I've been doing this monthly, really helping people nail this down and I'm enjoying it so much. So I guess it's just my passion project right now. And uh, an example came up, one of the gentlemen in the group is so passionate about people really having a clear vision of their future. In fact, he is rock solid sure, and I believe it's true, that your orientation to your future is the most powerful, powerful thing that will affect your life in the present. 
even more than any work we can do clearing up our past or getting over things really you know in his uh, view and and i definitely believe and subscribe to this your orientation to the future gives you your powerful now so it's worth working on he is so passionate about this that even within our group when we were helping and coaching each other with business strategy it's the one thing that it's all he can see it's almost myopic to help people out of any problem that they're working on he would go right there to asking them questions about their future this is an example of he can't not it's his meant for more it's what he's made for I'm the same way about seeing people make their offer. When people say they want to grow their business or they want to sell more, you know, I can see, do they know how to articulate their offer? Have they put it into easy steps that, that people can understand? Have they made their intangible service feel tangible with, with all of the things that we teach? So I feel that way. I, see, I feel like I walk around the world just seeing people stepping over thousands of dollars every day that are laying right there for them, those dollars representing the difference they could be making for people. So you've got your own meant for more. Whether, you know, it's it's like this gentleman with, you know, his myopic view of the difference it makes to know your future and his fire and his passion for everybody to have that orientation. Or it's it's like me, I, I can't not see the missed opportunities um, that uh, around, you know, each person who wants to make a difference if only they had some structure around making their offer and you've got something that you can't not see and that is the key to your meant for more so that's the question for today pay attention this week this month where is it that I can't not meddle I can't not participate I'm almost aggressive about it and there's some magic there for you it's called your meant for more